Congratulations. You've just equipped your team with a powerful solar design and proposal tool that will help you win more customers and streamline costs. I'm Josie, instructional designer at Nearmap, and I'll be taking you through a series of videos aimed at getting you up and running on Nearmap on OpenSolar. In this first video, we'll answer questions such as what is OpenSolar and what is Nearmap on OpenSolar? I'll be showing you how to log in and giving you a whirlwind tour of the OpenSolar interface so you can get yourself oriented before we dive deeper in the videos that follow. Have you logged into your new Nearmap on OpenSolar account? Whether you're new to OpenSolar or you already have an OpenSolar account, logging into Nearmap on OpenSolar only takes a few minutes. Before you do this, you must have a Nearmap on OpenSolar subscription and you need to be a Nearmap administrator. You can log in from OpenSolar's website or from Nearmap's website, it doesn't matter. But the first time you log in to Nearmap on OpenSolar, start from Nearmap. Go to nearmap.com, log in, click the orange Go to OpenSolar button, and you end up on OpenSolar's Control Zone landing page. There's so much you can do with Nearmap on OpenSolar. So now that you're logged in, it's a good time to take a quick tour so you can get to know what's where. After you log in, you're in the control zone. Here, you can take advantage of extensive options to configure OpenSolar to suit your business, from company info to pricing and payment, through to the customer's purchase experience and hardware settings. Now let's click on projects to take us to the project zone, OpenSolar's mini CRM, or Customer Relationship Management System. Think of it as the business end of OpenSolar, where you manage contacts, track your projects, contact customers with just a click, and update electricity usage. When you first start using OpenSolar, there'll be no projects. To give you the feel of a system that's already up and running, I've temporarily added a few projects to this part of the demo. Creating a project is your main aim. It pulls together all the information you need to prepare a proposal for a particular address. Once in the project zone and you have some projects in there, you will see that each line is a project. Note that you can star a project to highlight it for whatever reason. Your project contact is usually the customer. You can call, chat and email your customer directly from this page. At a glance, you can see what stage your project is in as well as its priority. From here, you can go straight to the studio zone to work on the design or to the interactive proposal and you can directly delete any projects. There are several ways to view your solar projects. There's a filter at the top right. Click on this and select how you want to narrow down the projects you see, for example, by project characteristics, such as whether it's been sold, the priority, the stage, the sold date. And at the top left, you have a higher level filter, which you can use to filter projects, files, calendar, contacts, because once you add them into a project, it saves them into the OpenSolar CRM. And any transactions that have occurred against any of your projects. We've seen the control zone and project zone. Now let's have a quick look at the two other OpenSolar zones. The studio zone is where the fun happens. Size up your customer's roof and create a professional design in minutes using Nearmap's vertical, oblique or 3D content. In the My Energy zone, you can beautifully showcase your design in a digital proposal with multiple configuration and hardware options. And include Nearmap's gorgeous imagery. Send the proposal to your customer either as a PDF or as an interactive link, which they can sign online. Even in that brief overview, you can see there's a lot to the OpenSolar interface. That's why this series of videos will take you step by step through all you need to know to get up and running with Nearmap on OpenSolar, from setting up the system for your business, to creating your proposal template, designing your solar systems, and finally, sending off the proposal and managing payment. Plus, along the way, we'll take a look at OpenSolar's cool 3D shading analysis feature. 